I studied creative writing as an undergrad and um, eventually all of my writing started to come out with just dialogue in it. <laughs> so I figured maybe it'd be a good decision to learn how to actually write that. So I applied to a bunch of programs and this one seemed the most adventurous. We cross train writers to create modern writers. Everybody who takes playwriting takes screenwriting. Everybody who takes screenwriting takes playwriting and they all take television writing. In any artistic discipline, whether it's dance, painting, sculpture, music, the people who are really revolutionaries are the people who first mastered the fundamentals of their craft. And in our case, we share a very cohesive vision of what those fundamentals are. We are hardcore storytellers here. The, the idea is really to start at the ground and you know really build the skills of storytelling and NYU is really into story, story and character. Really hone in on a three-act structure, which is the traditional structure of the screenplay and just really knowing you know when act one ends, when act two begins, what's the climax, the exciting incident and character development. One of the things you want to look at and one of the things that NYU, Tisch, Asia, Singapore uh, really has to offer more than, than any of the other schools that I looked at is uh, collaboration with the filmmakers. The entire school is pretty small and so you're going to be, as a writer, you're going to be seeing uh, directors, cinematographers, editors, animators all the time. For me, I'm actually working with a third year filmmaker. Um, she's working on a thesis project and I'm helping her write the script. We've been figuring out how to, how to get her story down and how to get the best way to tell it. And it's, it's something that, you know, we're doing outside of class. My roommate's already written a film with a second year filmmaker. Um, I talk with filmmakers about what I'm doing, what they're doing, and people all the time are going off and making projects together. There's a, there's a fantastic ratio of teachers to students, just so students get a lot of attention from us. We have incredible access to our chair, to our, our teachers. We only have uh, two or three main teachers in each, in screenwriting and in playwriting, and the doors are always open, and they're all professionals. They've worked for 10, 20, 30 years in the business, and they really care about their students. They're all really supportive, um, but they don't let you get away with anything. So, you know, we have a lot of work, but they're, they're always really, you know, there. They're really, their doors are open. We have our office doors open, and I might get, on any afternoon, I might get a, a dramatic writer come in and talk to me about a script, but I will, I'll also get an animator who wants to talk about a piece of animation that they're doing, and they want to shape it into a story, and they need some help and I'll get a filmmaker who wants some help. And our students also go to the filmmakers and to the animators and the other departments to learn from them. Last semester, my screenplay fell apart, like at the 11th hour. <laughs> um, and I wouldn't have been able to pull it back if it hadn't been for having those meetings with Wendy, you know, when she was like, okay, so it fell apart, but that's okay. You know, here's how, these are your options. Like, see how you, see what you're gonna do with it. And it ended up being much better. What you're doing in Singapore is being in Asia. Singapore, as a Korean person said to me last night, is a city in which you can travel in Asia without leaving the city. The benefits of being here over being in New York, partly it's cheaper to be here, partly it's less distracting. We get students from all over the world. Um, we get stories from all over the world, and that feeds me as a writer, and it feeds all of the other writers in, in the classroom. People who find Singapore boring are people who are boring. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very modern, everything is clean. Um, it's a good place to study internationally. Uh, getting, getting out to Asia is an adventure to a certain degree, and it does kind of crack open your mind and your creativity and, and pulls you out of uh, of the kind of small world that you can be in? It's just writing is hard, no matter where you are. Um, and to dedicate yourself to being a writer is, is kind of a, a, a lonely destiny. <laughs> and, and you have to really ask yourself, do you, do you want to be a writer? Do you want to be a good writer? Do you want to be criticized all the time in order to become a better writer? Is that the students that we train are trained to work in the industry. It will take some years before they do everything they want to do, before they get to exercise everything they've learned to do here. But on the way, they tend to enter the industry as development people in film, 
and they work for agents, they work for producers, they in the theater they become literary managers in television, they they start however they can and try to become writers assistants and then and then writers. But we have prepared them to be able to work professionally. Writers have to work as they become themselves. And we give students the opportunity to do that. 